Hey guys, people never stop asking me to make a switch gun for them, but I just don't have any time to make them for you. So today I will show you a ready solution. Say hello to the Pro Signal Booster Street Pro 2. Let's have a look what's inside. There's a huge antenna and a clamp. And there is nothing more, except for a little power adapter. There's a huge antenna and it works with two kinds of ranges, both 3G and 4G. I also have to put a SIM card inside and place it on the roof. Well, let's check out how it's working. The manual says we need a simple internet wire. There are plenty of them in any house. Let's fetch one. Owing to the manual, it will be easy to use the 3G booster. I think it will take 8 string, that will do. I also need some connectors and crimping pilots for them. Here they are, the crimping pilots and connectors. We're going to let the wire through this clamp. There's a rubber that will push it hard. And this booster will work in any weather conditions, as it said. Be it rain, snow or winter. Let's put the wire to the special clamp and put the connector on it. Using the crimping pilers. Next, we need to connect these wires accordingly to the scheme, to the Ethernet connector. That's how I do it, guys. I just take air and compare its wires. And I put these wires in correct order. They are in correct order now. Let's remove the extra skin. Getting the connector and push it really hard. Now I take the pilers and get the connectors inside. I push it to the limit and make this. These wires are pinpointed now. They must be punctured. I see they are. They are clenched hard now. I will do the same to the other side. Finally, I plug it here. Twisting it hard for waterproof. The big advantage of this device is that this cable is used as a power source beside the internet. Eventually, this booster is better than antenna plus cable plus enhancer. Because the signal doesn't get weak in stormy weather. Unlike it happens when using a satellite TV or internet. Hot or cold, it works hassle-free. You will need nothing but this booster and a SIM card. And a cable. It can work with any SIM cards, any providers. With GSM, GPRS, 3G, LTE. I have a very weak 3G signal in my house. I just can't get a nice signal on my smartphone from any provider. It's so little. Oh, there is no signal at all now. If you just try to download something, the connection will be interrupted. It says no service. For now, let's put this antenna on the window. Let's check out how it can help in this room. This end goes to the power supply. There it goes. P means power. And there's a connector for internet. The other side of Ethernet cable I set in my laptop. It can be connected to a Wi-Fi router if I wanted to cover all my room. Turning on. Indicates green. Now I need to check out the connection. It goes like this. 192.168.8.1 Loading. If everything is correct, you will see this page. Now you can see that it's 100% good signal now. 3G is working awesomely. Let's measure its speed. Starting. How could I not to test its full speed 3G? Come on, show me. Oh my, that's good. 18. That's a nice result for 3G. Actually, I'm surprised. I will show you a little bit of special settings. To increase the speed of the internet, go to settings, choose forcibly, set only 4G and pick anything you need. Well... As you see, I hold it, maybe that will give us some speed boost. That is just amazing, it's 38. That's even better than my Wi-Fi. Half a meter out of window made the speed twice faster. That was in Lugansk. In a big city, you can boost your signal to the limit, up to 100 megabytes second. Well, friends, comparing to the 3G gun, this signal booster, named Street Pro 2, works very nice, it's reliable and fast. Let's go and check how it's working in the conditions it was made for, outside on the roof. We're going to install this booster in Stas's house. Here it is, all's ready to be installed. 
We are in a very distant village now, and there is not a single normal internet station here. The phone says no service, nothing at all. Let's see how this booster can work in this remote village. It is set to reach 10 km distant stations, and even in Lugansk, it can catch and boost a signal even here. And by the way, this is the cheapest option. And this time we'll use a Wi-Fi router, we've taken one. Let's connect it. Let's plug in the antenna and Wi-Fi. The indicators, all right. Let's check out the connection on my smartphone first. Let's connect it. There is the Wi-Fi we made. It's an open connection now. There we go. Browser. Then I tap the code 192.168.8.1. Go. The signal is awesome, but it's 3G. Let's look at the speed. Not bad, 6, but that's 3G. Pay attention that this antenna is lower than the roofs. That isn't the best option. We should have installed it higher on the roof. We must change its place, cause the roof do hamper the signal. It didn't pay the station. Here we go, that will be enough, I think. That's the menu. As you see, the LTE signal rate is 100%. The booster works through Wi-Fi now, so it shows Wi-Fi on the screen. There goes the speed test. We see that it's a live cell spot. It's our booster's name. Can you see that speed? This speed is very nice. 32, 33, it's 34. It is even better than before. And the speed inside the house is pretty good. This internet speed is enough to do anything you want. I think you will be really satisfied with it. No equipment required, just buy this booster and maybe an internet wire. And it all will be working, as you saw. It is simple to install, just don't place it too low. About SIM cards. Many people think that it's costly to use. But in Russia, the limitless internet SIM cards are widespread. Take some limitless card and don't worry about internet anymore. You saw it all yourself, guys. The booster works flawlessly. The speed is fantastic, it's easy to connect. And I recommend it. There's a year warranty for it. Can you see me? Six feet tall Is it like a charm Or is it an alarm What do you say